You're here because you're looking for a small portable solar panel for either one of your EcoFlow portable solar generators or for another product that is compatible with the MC4 connectors that you get with an EcoFlow solar panel. Either way, you're in the right place. Hello, I'm Wanderer001, and this is my review of the EcoFlow 160 watt solar panel. Yes, I have done a review of their 110 watt over there in the corner, but I decided because they were having some sales to upgrade to the 160 watt because well, more wattage, more better. Similar to all of the EcoFlow solar panels have a carrying case that comes with it. And I like the fact that EcoFlow includes a carrying case. There is a little branding on here and it's really just nylon. The straps themselves are nice and rugged. There's a little textured kind of fake leather right here, but where this shines is actually the zipper along the edge. It actually weaves together, as you can kind of see there, creating a watertight seal around it. Now, the dimensions of the carrying case and solar panels inside of there are 28 by 17.5, meaning that it collapses down quite a bit compared to when it is completely open. Now, my one problem that I have with the carrying case is one side of it has a hard little insert to help protect the solar panel. I kind of wish they had that on the other side, because if we flip this over, you can kind of see what I mean. Notice this isn't as flat as the other side was, and that's because the other side is the side that had that insert. This just has the cable, it's just sitting there. But why don't we take a moment now to open this up and actually see what we're talking about. So if I aim that a little more towards the camera and I bring my zipper into focus, you can kind of see that webbing that I was talking about as it opens up. Now we're going to unzip that completely all the way around and show you the hard bit here because not only is it a case to carry your collapsible solar panels, it also can act as a kickstand to help the solar panel angle and get better sunlight. And because of that, each of the corners has a little carabiner clip right there to help put the solar panel into focus. But let's take a look at the actual panel itself. Here we have the top of the solar panel itself, and you can see they do keep that EcoFlow branding. You have a textured finish right here, as well as branding letting you know this is their 160 watt panel. And right over here, this is the uh, converter or the cableage that you get with it. You do get an MC4 connector that comes with the panel. And we're just going to open this up to give you an idea of what one of the actual solar cells look like. You can see in the corner there is a metal grommet right there, and that connects to those carabiner clips that you had before. The solar panel itself is IP67 waterproof. It has a rubberized membrane that protects the solar cell from dust, rain, and so forth. I've actually left this one out in the rain flat on my deck and it got wet. All I had to do was bring it inside and wipe it off. I did not lose any solar efficiency from it and it still worked. Not all solar panels can say that. The EcoFlow foldable panel here actually has four wings that fold out and obviously, as you might imagine, it increases the size quite a bit. So let's take a look at what this looks like completely open. Here we could see the 160 solar panel opened up. You could see the four wings that I was talking about. And we're going to get around to the other side because there's some things I don't like about this particular setup from EcoFlow. But while we're looking at the front here, you are looking at a total dimensions of 26.8 inches by 61.8 inches. So this is going to be a side bigger than the 110. EcoFlow solar panels are very good with their solar efficiency, meaning the sunlight that hits this and its conversion into actual usable electricity. EcoFlow's panels are the 160 watt solar panel here is good for 21 to 22 percent solar efficiency. And if you happen to use this with one of EcoFlow's solar generators, you're going to also be able to take advantage of something called MPPT, which is maximum power point tracking. It's an algorithm that automatically adjusts the input wattage, guaranteeing a consistent and stable power supply. That's something that you're not going to get with other solar panels. And again, if you're getting this to use with another solar generator, you lose out on some of the cool things that EcoFlow products can do. Now we're actually going to walk over here and take a look at the solar panel. Because of the time of day that I'm filming this, the shadows are definitely long going this way. So for right now, this is actually set up for maximum solar input. I have used these in the past where I just lie them down on my deck and have no problem with it. Yes, granted, depending on the time of year, it might take a little longer to charge, but the beauty of having a higher watt output solar panel means that it can absorb more solar energy than something that's smaller than it. So yes, sometimes I might not be getting the maximum 160 watt output that I could from this, but it is getting better than something like my 110 watt or if you had something smaller than that. 
My one problem and gripe with EcoFlow's design here, you see how the wings over here, they're not being supported by anything. They just kind of flop out there and I struggle getting this set up. I, I, that's why I just lie these flat generally. I dislike having to mess with this and that includes my 110 solar watt panels. I just end up flopping them on the ground. If you do happen to stack this up, you could hide a solar generator behind the panels to one, help keep them pushed up, but also to keep them in the shade. As you can see, this would be optimal time because they'd be shaded and it wouldn't be as hot. I wish that EcoFlow would do, do like other companies have done where they actually have little kickstands on the wings to help support that. I know you could build something on your own, but this is a review of what you get out of the box with this particular solar panel. So that is one criticism that I have for EcoFlow. Now you have heard me quite a lot comparing the 160 here to the 110 solar panel because the first solar panels that I got for my original R River Pro was the 110 because there was a bundle, it was cheap, they were on sale. The 160 watt solar panel brings the price range up quite a bit compared to the 110. However, I actually recommend getting the 160 over the 110 if you can stomach the price tag. And EcoFlow they run sales pretty regularly. But why do I recommend the 160 over the 110? Well, let me show you a little comparison I did showing you the size difference, which isn't that much more, and the actual solar input energy that the 160 gets over the 110 to help nudge you uh, towards the 160. Here we have a size comparison of the 110 solar panel versus the 160. You could see lengthwise this way, they're not actually that dissimilar. However, when you go for the height, right there in the back, the 110 is actually 20 and a half versus the 27 of the 160 panel here. That's gonna be one of the biggest differences that you're gonna notice. So it's going to be a taller panel. The length of the cableage over here is also slightly longer for the 160, as you might imagine, because they expect you to be charging larger devices with this. One of the key benefits of the 160 over the 110 is actually the, the power generation of it. So right now we're looking at a very overcast day. So I'm not gonna get peak optimal solar generation from either of these panels, but using my River Pro, I tested this out and we got anywhere from 55 watts to 56 watts with the 110. And again, same day, right on top of each other, just swapped out the cable. The 160 got me 87 to 89. So that's going to be one of the big, big selling factors of the 160 over the 110. Even with the same amount of sun, you get more solar generation from it. And that's gonna be really the big difference between the two, aside from the panel being a little taller. A slightly better example of the lazy way of charging this. Sun is just about directly overhead. I am charging my River Pro 2 over there. I am getting currently 111 watts of solar input. And from 12%, you can see, it's not gonna take all that long to charge. So if I actually took the time to try and prop this up and get proper solar angle, I could do this much faster. But again, this is generally the lazy way that I go about doing this. And you can see, it's not 100% sunny out, but it is overcast enough where I'm not getting the best sun that I absolutely could. And it still isn't gonna take me all that long to charge it, just using this setup, throwing it out on the ground like this. There you saw, not 100% great sunlight, just lying them flat, 160 outperformed the 110, as you might expect. So if you can swallow the increased price tag that you get with the 160, I would go with this route. But you're here because, well, you're kind of already leaning towards the 160. So what are my final thoughts? Despite the few criticisms that I have about EcoFlow's foldable solar panels, in general, they are a solid buy. And if you have an EcoFlow solar generator, this is a no-brainer because of that extra MPPT that you can get with this solar panel as opposed to a third-party solar panel, even if you can get larger wattage at a smaller price. Because of all this, I strongly recommend the EcoFlow 160 watt solar panel if you're looking for a collapsible solar panel to take with you on your next adventure or to charge up your solar generators around the house. If you made it to this point in the video, you appreciate the amount of time and effort that goes into making a video like this. Hit that like button so more people will be able to find the video. If you like what I'm doing here and want to be notified of my next review, hit that subscribe button. With all that being said, I have been Wanderer001. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the area below. And as always, thanks for watching.